The Taiping Rebellion was a revolt against the Qing Dynasty in China, fought with religious conviction over regional economic conditions and lasting from 1850 to 1864. The Taiping forces were run as a cult-like group called the God Worshipping Society by self-proclaimed prophet Hong Sochuan and resulted in the rebels seizing the city of Nanjing for a decade. The Taiping Rebellion eventually failed, however, and led deaths of more than 20 million people. This rebellion was way more deadlier than World War I. Hong Sochuan was born in January 1st, 1814 in a small village in Guangdong province in China. In an early age, he had failed multiple civil service exams. When, when he returned home and went to bed, he keeps complaining of his sickness. In a feverish state, Hong hallucinated a journey to a heavenly land to the east where his father revealed that demons were destroying humankind. Welding a special sword, Hong, with, his, with the help of his brother, fought the demons and the king of hell. The fo following the battle, Hong remained in heaven, took a woman, and later having a children together. Eventually, Hong returned to earth, receiving the title, Heavenly King, the Lord of the Kingly Way. But from his family's perspective, Hong was in bed for days, stricken by fever and dreams and yelling about demons, claiming to be the emperor of China and singing when he's asleep and sometimes leaping out of bed and standing ready for combat. When Hong finally did awake, he told his family about his experience and cooped down his poems he had written in heaven. The village believed that he had gone insane, but over time, Hong put the incident behind him and pursued civil service exams again. Around the same time as his hallucination, while in the city of Canton, also known as Guangzhou, for exams, Hong was given Christian literature, which he kept but never read. In 1843, a relative, Li Jingfang, borrowed the tract, laying off as good words for exhorting the age, and convinced Hong to read it. The tract portrayed an apocalyptic China that recalled recent events, the violent First Opium War against Great Britain, fought from 1839 to 1842, ended with the Treaty of Nanjing that damaged imperial prestige and allowed the British many advances. It had the side effect of allowing an influence of Christian missionaries into the country. In Liang's tract, Hong encountered the words of Jesus, changing the Hong's view of Chinese society and conviction values. Hong became convinced the father in his from his fever dream from years before was the God of Christianity. The older brother was Jesus and the King of Hell, was the serpent in the Garden of Eden. Hong was now confident that he was the son of God. Hong revealed his dream to his relatives, and his message began to spread. Hong and some of his followers took the road by selling writing ink and brushes to fund their travels. During this journey, Hong wrote his own tract, 
exhortations to worship the one true God to help with more converts. Hong returned home to support his family and work on further tracks, but his his disciples still traveled, vigorously spreading his ideas and forming a group known as Ba Shengi Wei, or the God Worshipping Society. Many of these followers were the the Hakka people who had fled the Mongols in the 13th century and became an enclave treated as a separate from regular Chinese society. They were primarily destitute laborers who sought protection from oppression. Hong preached an early form of communism that stretched sharing property mixed with religious ideas and laws based on the Ten Commandments. His promise of free land would soon bring in thousands more followers. In 1847, Hong went to Thrissel Mountain to join a local god worshippers and conspire against religious traditions in the area. Numbering in the thousands, the god worshipping society grabbed the attention of local authorities who want to end the group's teachings and arrest some leaders. Religious visions were not confined to Hong. In 1848, Hong accepted as authentic a thrissel mountain charcoal burner named Yang Shou Ching, who claimed to channel God in a peasant named Xiao Chaghu, who said he channeled Jesus. Tales of angelic interventions from heaven to save local villagers abounded. Worshippers claimed to visit heaven physically during prayers. By 1849, the God Worshipping Society had expanded into four areas of China, which Hong treated as strategic points in his upcoming battle against demons, and demons that Hong soon revealed as the Qing Dynasty itself. Hong's total control of his followers' lives tightened, calling himself the Taiping King. He decreed the separation of men and women with beatings for anyone who defied him. In 1850, alleging that Jesus had urged Hong to fight for heaven, Hong began to took arms and his followers. Soon, the god worshippers were buying gunpowder in bulk and becoming organized by military rankings. Qing forces and the god worshippers clashed it at the end of 1851. Unexpectedly, the Taiping army was victorious in these battles, but fighting continued over the following months. As Hong proclaimed 1851 as the first year of the Taiping Heavenly Kingdom. Later that year, Hong and his forces, now numbering 60,000 men, abandoned Thrustal Mountain and seized the city of Yangwen again defeating Qing troops. In Yangwen, Hong dominated the lives of his followers with more religious restrictions. He also created royal titles for his family. Hong declared that his followers should not commit adultery or be licentious and should reject. The cast of amorous glances, the harboring of listful thoughts about others, the smoking of opium, and the singing of Forbiddenness songs or be punished with beheadings. In 1852, Taiping soldiers snuck out of Yangon and began a trail of bloodshed that resulted in their control of a significant portion of land that bordering the Yangtze River and the city of Tianjin, from which the Qing Emperor Fan Shen was forced to flee. When Hong took Nanjing, by which time he boosted some 2 million followers after an attempt to seize Beijing, which was also known as Peking, who was repelled. Hong chose to cease conquest and concentrate on building administration in Nanjing. The Taiping held Nanjing for 11 years. Hong stepped back from the most secular matters of governance leaving that work to others who soon slipped into decadence that conflicted with 
Taiping religious ideals. One of these, the channeler Yang So Ching, claimed that God wanted Hong dead. The plot was thwarted. Yang was beheaded, and his family members were slaughtered. In 1856, the Second Opium War broke out with the West, continuing until 1860. Hong believed Western governments could sympathize with his government, and he tried to make overtures to them. But European forces eventually aided the Qing government in seizing back what the Taiping had conquered. Hong was found dead on June 1st, 1864. People have believed that he had been poisoned, though it's unknown whether it was suicide or assassination. Nanjing was put under siege. And several months later, it's believed that Qing soldiers created the popular game of mahjong to pass the time during the Longfei Siege. The Taiping occupiers were massacred, with some gathering in crowds and immolating themselves. Hong's son was named the new King of Heaven, but was later executed. It estimates it's very, but the Taiping Rebellion is believed to have been claimed between 20 million and 70 million lives, making it one of the deadliest conflicts in human history. So that's the Taiping Rebellion, everyone. I hope you like it.、Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and take care.